What are these niggas doing here? For what? <laughs> What are these? Yo, yo, it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politics TV. Supporters want this, man. The whole game talking about this shit. Takashi 6 9 disrespecting Nipsey Hussle Mural out in L.A. And um, this right here is just to show you how desperate Takashi 6 9 is, his team is, everybody involved, all the way down to the lifeguards. I mean, the uh, bodyguards. Uh, understand this situation right here, bro. When niggas do shit like this, this is showing that they know they at the end of a rope. They don't know what they doing right now. The shit comes off as corny. It comes off as cheesy. Is it going to get talked about? Yes. Do we got to cover the news for the music supporters on YouTube and the culture supporters on YouTube? Yes, we do. Is he going to make the blogs? Yes. Understand his record label is also paying for this. They paying for these big blogs to post this. The big blogs with millions of followers on Instagram, they're being paid to promote everything he does. There's a whole team sitting down. They coming up with these ideas together. I'm sure he does have input on it. This is how his career was built. They understand that he knows what it takes to trigger the people and piss the people off, and they're going to come up with it together. It's a whole team. The information he's able to receive, the uh, resources he has, how he's able to walk out with security, and we've seen several times online already, security that's with him has been tested. Hands put on him, niggas pushing him, all this and all that. So anybody who's been a bodyguard for Takashi 6 9 to be disrespectful right now, to the culture of hip hop, we don't feel sorry for y'all if anything happened to you. You know what I'm saying? We damn sure not gonna feel sorry for him. Uh, like I always say, understand this nigga did not tell because it was the right thing to do. He did not tell because he wanted to get you know criminals off the streets. He told because he didn't want to go to prison. He didn't tell because he felt they fucked his baby mama. He told simply because he got in trouble for breaking the law and he didn't want to answer the consequences for what he did. Simple and plain. All the other shit that he uses matters not. He told simply for the fact that he could get off. So him going out there with this mirror with Nipsey, very disrespectful after he knows that Nipsey did not agree with what he had, knew what Nipsey stand on with morals and principles. He did have Nipsey's music playing, trolling even more. I can't play that audio here, but he had the last time that I checked playing. A couple of people tapped in and was like they wanted to get at the nigga and this and this and that. This is what niggas got to do. This is This is not really lit. This is what the game has come to, bro. Niggas is going to sell their soul and do all type of lame shit just to stay relevant and keep this shit going. This shit is going to fade out. The tricks of these like that gimmicks fade out. You're going to have to find another way to entertain. Right now, this is working, but it will fade out. Then what is he going to do? We will have to see. You'll see this keep getting promoted. Understand it's part of the record label who does not care about the culture. They don't care about morality. They don't care about what's right or wrong. They all about what we need to do to make the biggest and next dollar. That's why you saw that video when you go to these record labels and these artists are getting these interviews. Everybody sitting at the table is white. Older white people, older uh, Jewish people who... You know, this is not a disrespect to them. They just don't give a fuck about hip hop. They're not part of the culture. This is just a fact. It's a business for them. That's it. Subscribe to the channel, Urban Politics TV. Hit the comment section, like section. Rest in peace, Nip Hustle, man. Long live one of the best ever to come and touch the game. And I'm not just talking musically. I'm talking just impact, inspiration, motivation, representation, and everything, man. Shout out to the whole All Money In team, man. 1,000.